Hey guys, Mr. Blue Brandom here. It is time for Top 5 Tuesday with my five favorite anime cliches. Now, anime has been around for a long time and there are themes that are overused and a lot of anime use them all of the time. Some anime don't really use them at all. So, I took a list of about 50, narrowed it down to five, and I'm going to share with you my five lists. So, without further ado, let's get on to it. So, number five is when an anime character calls out their attack, you know, Kamehameha, or Spirit Gun, or they call out Shadow Clone Jutsu, or they go ahead and they call out, you know, all these other different attacks, and yet, the other character, the antagonist, or the bad guy, or whatever you want to call this person, the evil person, or the group, or whatever it might be, they still don't know what the attack is going to be, even if they studied the character before, if they heard the character call out this attack, and go ahead and perform it on them before, and yet they still don't know exactly what to expect. And that is one of those anime cliché that is around in every single anime. Number four on my list of anime cliches is when the main characters sit by the window in the classroom. And it's always, always, always the main characters, besides them sitting in the back of the classroom, they also sit in the corner right near the window. There's always a window in the classroom, they always sit right by the window, and they're always in the back, way, way back. And it just seems like maybe it's just the way of constructing the whole entire classroom where if they're having a conversation, then they're really not heard by the teacher and, you know, they could get away with some stuff. But it's always, if you watch any anime where it's taking place in a classroom for a small period of time, just look where the main anime characters are and they're always right in the back, right by the window. Almost always, like, I would say like 90, 95% of the time, they're always back there. And I'm going to just post maybe a few photos, and that way you guys can see. It's like, bam, there they are, right there, right there, right there, right by the window, right in the back. You know, that's my number four. Number three on my anime cliche list is transfer students. Now, this one is one that people kind of overlook somewhat, but it is one that is very prevalent in a lot of different anime. Transfer students happen all of the time. Besides schools, you know, the setting being in schools almost all the time, transfer students seem to occur in almost every anime that has a school setting. So, you know, a transfer student comes in, meet this student is a new transfer, you know. It's either a transfer from a class, or it's a transfer from a different school, or it's a transfer from a whole nother country. And they end up using this a lot just to say, here's a new character, you know, you don't know much about this character, you know. It's like everybody within the same community, they're, they know each other and everything, and then now it's like this new mysterious character, ooh, the transfer student, and everything like that. And they tend to use that in a lot of anime, and I put that as number three. Number two on my list of anime cliches is, of course, the overly done emotions. And Japan is very famous for this when it comes to, like, anime and other shows where they go ahead and they outwardly show the emotions, whether it's... Oh my god, I see my crush nosebleed and like you see the blood just like spewing out of the out of the nose or it's when the character is just kind of, you know, shocked and just freaking out and going like what the heck are you doing? You know, they kind of get that ghostly type face or they have the like the little the little drop on the back, you know, usually on the back of the head, and, you know, then if they're angry or something like that, then it's, you know, the steam coming out of their ears, or they get red, or sometimes, like, there's, like, the wavy, you know, they, they outwardly show it in anime, and you see it, and it's one of those where it's highly noticeable, and it makes anime anime, and a lot of you know what I'm talking about, so yeah, I put that as number two. Number one, which was the hardest one to put because making this list was difficult and I put this one as number one, is transformations. Transformations happen all of the time. It is most notably, you know, in Dragon Ball Z, in Sailor Moon, in 
just so many other ones I can just go on and on and on those are like two really really big ones that I just thought of like right now and I could probably list a whole bunch of other ones but transformations are a part of anime they show leveling up they show greater power they show a new technique or a new ability or they show just a new a whole new persona or a whole new character completely if you've watched dn angel which is about one character who transforms into another character his it's daisuke niwa who transformed into Dark Mousy, he, you know, it's just one into the other, and they're two completely different characters. They're aware of each other, but, you know, it's just one and then the other, and then it's like in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and all that other stuff, you know, they go ahead from Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, etc., blah, 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 and, you know, in Sailor Moon, it's like, all right, now they're normal girls, and then all of a sudden they transform into the Sailor Scouts, and it, the list goes on and on and you see the transformations all of the time and it's one that everybody likes and it's not one that's really yes it's overdone yes it's in a lot of different anime but it's one where you can deal with it and you can handle it and it's fine and it's just one of those where it's like okay you know I, i'll accept it you know transformations are a part of anime and we can live with transformations and be fine with it and it can just keep adding it on and on and on and it's not really overdone but people consider it a cliche so i put it as my number one cliche so that concludes my list of anime cliches i hope you guys enjoyed Put in the comments below what your favorite anime cliches are. I want to hear from you guys and tell me what you guys think of my anime cliches, what, what you think of mine. And leave a like, share with your friends, subscribe if you have not yet, and as always, deuces up.